I left Michigan in 1997. At that time, there were few turkey hunting opportunities there at all. You had to go to the northern part of the Lower Peninsula to hunt them, and on top of that, you had to draw the tag. It's May 4th. I'm in southwest Michigan. Probably not 30 miles from where I grew up. Turkey hunting. I've never killed a bird in Michigan. I've actually never even turkey hunted in Michigan, come to think of it. So I'm in kind of this, the central zone of about 80 acres that I can hunt. And uh, the field kind of in the middle of it. So I'm just gonna hang out around here and hopefully pick one up here soon. Most days in the spring, male turkeys, known as toms or gobblers, start gobbling from their roost right around dawn. It can be earlier or later depending on their mood, but for the most part, you can count on hearing gobbles around that time. The males are doing this to attract females in hopes of mating with them. From his roost, he can project his gobble far and wide. In his perfect world, receptive hen would be under his tree waiting for him before he ever flies down. In the event that the toms are not gobbling on their own, one can try to shock the turkeys into gobbling by making a loud, sudden, obtrusive sound. I usually start with an owl hoot. If they won't answer an owl hoot, I'll try a more piercing sound like a crow call. Still haven't heard a gobble. So I'm gonna head back towards the field that I was at, at right at first light. Probably just sit down, see what happens. Maybe one will just come strolling through. After a few calls and an hour of sitting, Three Jakes pop into view. If the Jake had as big a breasts on him as a Tom, I'd shoot the Jake. My wife shot a uh, Jake last weekend in Montana. <clears throat> and I bet you those two Jake breasts would have fit into one gobbler breast. Turkeys have amazing eyesight. Just moving your gun barrel a foot can cause alarm. Even though I'm not ready to shoot a Jake, I take the opportunity to hone my skills, practicing slow yet efficient movement. I'm seeing turkeys, but still not the kind I'm after. The kind with long beards, spurs, and two breasts capable of making a mound of turkey nuggets. Ate it till 9.30. The wind has really picked up. It's probably blowing 20, gusting 30. Uh, saw four jakes, which is great, exciting. Definitely could have shot one out of the three pack, but uh, I'm gonna hold out, waiting for the gobbler. If I was hungrier and it was the last day, by all means, would have shot one of them to take home. But um, yeah, we'll get, we'll give it another shot. Okay, I'm back in the field. May 4th, 4 p.m. We've had some thunderstorms today, some high winds. It's gotten nice now, the clouds are almost gone. And uh, the temps definitely picked back up. The wind's slowly laying. It's about, I don't know, probably 10 to 12 now and it's supposed to drop off towards the evening. So my hope is, is that uh, since they kind of had lockjaw this morning, that uh, they'll be feeling a little frisky this afternoon. You can definitely feel the sun warming your back up when it's uh, when the wind dies down. So I'm just gonna ease back into the same area I was in and uh, the field I can glass and uh, maybe make a couple locator calls to see if I can get someone, to get a bird that's fired up. But otherwise I'm gonna ease towards in the direction where uh, 
they're supposedly roosting, and then just set up, you know, find a good spot to sit down next to a tree and uh, make a few yelps, soft yelps here and there, and uh, sit until almost dark, see what happens. They should be in this, this zone now and then working their way. out towards the property line. In a turkey hunter's perfect hunt, the toms would be gobbling like crazy and coming to your hen calls with reckless abandon. It is the communication with these birds that makes turkey hunting so much fun. Those days do happen and are wonderful, but not all are like that. You just never know how many turkeys you don't see that you spooked, especially if you're walking open fields on top of ridges. There's no action here, so I follow the road towards the southeast corner. I peek over a rise and catch a gobbler with his head down feeding and headed my way. Long beard coming up this road right at me. I find the nearest tree, sit down and wait. If he stays on his current course, he should be in my lap within five minutes. There are some turkey hunters that won't shoot a bird unless he comes gobbling and strutting to the call. I'm not that elite of a turkey hunter yet. I'll take one, virtually, any way I can. Something's not right, you should have already been here. You either drifted off the road or maybe turned back around. I'm just going to ease back up and see if I can see him. At 4 minutes, 59 seconds, I can't take it anymore and get up to take a peek. Two steps, and I'm busted. about a 10 inch beard. Not quite an inch spurs. They're not super sharp and not super curved yet. Um, so if I had to guess, two, it's a two year old bird. Beautiful creatures. Quite possibly the, the prettiest animal that uh, I hunt and eat. Well, I got my Michigan bird. He never gobbled. I didn't exactly call him in. It was a cross between a call in and a uh, ambush. But uh, he didn't run away from my calls, which is always nice. And uh, I got impatient, peeked up at him, tried to make sure he was still there. And sure enough, he was in shotgun range. So I just shoot him offhand, but it uh, worked out just fine. But I'm stoked. Got my Michigan bird. First Michigan hunt. First Michigan turkey. <laughs>